Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. It's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. So for those of you that are unaware, there are yearly tarot card readings that are completed and it's covering everything for 2020 for your love life. You can find the link in the description box below. So let's begin your reading. I've already shuffled the cards, okay? So we've got something to start on. And the first energy I'm looking at is showing to me that there's this energy of lots and lots of possibilities, right? It's an exciting energy. It's the type of energy in which, you know, you can go in many different directions, but at the same time, this particular energy is all about, you know, different paths, different options, things that are occurring in your life could mean that for some of you, you are, you know, in a complicated situation in respect of your love life. So let's find out more. For some of you, you know, there could be lots of things that are going on in your life. When it comes to love, I feel like uh, the possibilities are there. So there could be, you know, third party situations happening, especially with this particular card, which shows that, um, you know, you do have uh, things going on in your love life and it might be difficult. It might be the individual you're dealing with, for example, that is... Um, you know, involved with another person. And the card that is clarifying that, uh, the cards actually that are clarifying that energy is showing three court cards. So I am led to believe that there could be, you know, more than one energy or more than two energies involved. And it's very interesting because the three energies here is, um, you know, on one end, there's uh, this very cold, very direct energy. And it's the type of energy where someone has been through very painful situations and they've suffered a lot and they've had a lot of difficulties. You know, they've, um, you know, experienced difficult relationships that caused pain, that made them feel a sense of emptiness, that uh, made them look at relationships with that point of view where, you know, it's painful, it's difficult to deal with, etc. It's that sort of energy. Now, the next energy is one that is very logical, very thinking, very much uh, inside of the head, not really feeling a lot of emotions. And then right in the middle, we have this uh, sort of soft emotional energy that is talking about opening up one's heart. So I feel like you could be feeling stuck in a complicated situation. You could be the element here that is uh, bringing that soft, beautiful, um, you know, loving energy to this dynamic. So let's clarify the next card. The next card is all about sacrifices. It's all about someone making a decision. Because if you look at these particular cards, it's talking about, you know, the legality, the aspects of a potential divorce, someone breaking free, etc. It's that sort of energy I'm picking up. A sacrifice has to be made. And this was occurring, you know, not so long ago. So I feel like some of these energies you've already experienced, you're already familiar with it. You know, you have this understanding of what has been going on, but there's definitely this energy that was occurring not too long ago where, you know, you were bringing love and light to another person's life. You were brightening up their life. You were making things uh, a lot better. You were making this individual feel more loved, more cared for. So you were bringing that soft, beautiful energy, right? So let's look at the next energy. The next energy is showing to me that in respect of love, I feel like someone was um, very critical or perhaps um, there's this energy of 
you know, looking very closely or watching another person very closely after a breakup, something of that nature, trying to see if they're going to come back, seeing how they're going to behave, how they are they going to change. It's that sort of attitude, right? Someone trying to test the other person to see if they'll bring love back into the equation. So I feel like if things ended between you and this individual, if let's say, for example, the connection got cut and things got difficult and it got more harder to deal with, there's definitely this energy of where, you know, someone was testing the other person. That's what I'm basically picking up on that card. It's the this energy of trying to see if, this, uh, if you'll come back, you know, if things ended between you and this individual, they're trying to test the waters, trying to see, you know, how you're going to approach the situation. It's basically revolving around that. Let's look at the next energy, right? The next energy is showing to me an ending of some sort. Something changed in the situation. It could have made you feel very happy, but I do feel like it's uh, either a change of communication or the way the two of you were interacting and engaging with each other. But I feel like something happened really fast. This change was very drastic. It was very, very, um, you know, spontaneous. It wasn't really planned, right? So this is something that happened not so long ago. And I feel like that energy is showing up and saying that, yeah, you know, everything that has been occurring, there's a reason and purpose for it. You can't underestimate it. You can't look at these situations and think to themselves that they're not playing a big part in the bigger picture of this relationship. So, you know, pay very careful attention don't just take it lightly. There's something going on in this situation. You have to look at it more closely. You have to, um, you know, try to understand it on a deeper level, right? Now, the next energy I'm seeing is, you know, this sort of, um, you know, wanting to have this ability to move forward rapidly, wanting to work things out with this past person. This has been something that you've been thinking about, you know, a lot. This has been something on your mind quite constant. And so that energy is showing up. Let's look at the uh, energies that are ongoing right now. Right now, I feel like, you know, there's this opportunity to communicate. There's this opportunity that's opening up, right? And I'm also sensing that there's this innocence to this approach uh, that will have to be, you know, followed when it comes to this individual. I'm seeing that there's an important discussion that has to be had between you and this individual regarding the future. You know, what do you want for the future? What do you expect? What are you hoping for? It's these very important things that uh, the two of you have to uh, wrap your minds around. And I feel like you're going to be having a conversation with someone and about what they want from, you know, the loving uh, sort of relationship that you might be involved in right now. But I do feel like for some of you, you could be on the precipice of having some sort of breakthrough. If you're dealing with more than one option, if you have more than one person in your life, you could be feeling like you need to make a decision about this situation, right? For some of you, it could be a new person coming into your world. For others, this could be an individual that was um, a part of your world for some time. You might have been involved in like a third party situation or something that was confusing. And I feel like a decision has to be made. But I also see that there's this beautiful energy that is showing to me that, um, you know, there's a lot of good things coming into your world, right? This could be uh, someone that's coming in to take care of you, not just emotionally, could be also financially. There's that sort of energy that I'm picking up from the cars now. The possibilities are endless there, you know, and I feel like you're not really seeing these sort of uh, dimensions that are occurring in the background. There could be uh, other energies entering that are bringing, uh, you know, a new sort of uh, happiness into your life. And uh, yeah, I do feel like in terms of your love life, you, you may have 
some very interesting possibilities that are playing out. Now, for those of you that are going into, you know, um, a third party situation or dealing with a third party situation, I am going to be exploring that energy more closely, but I'll also be looking at these new possibilities coming into your world and what it means for you in respect of your love life. You know, how are the energies shifting? How are they changing? What is going to be, um, you know, um, the big transformations that are happening during this period of time due to some of the things that are going on. So you can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.